वेलकम टू नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन मोर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल बेस्ड ऑन सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड नेटवर्क मैनिपुलेशन रूल्स हियर यू विल बी गिवन विथ कॉम्प्लेक्स सर्किट यू कैन सी हियर वी हैव बीन गिवन विथ वन कॉम्प्लेक्स सर्किट एंड हियर वी आर डील विथ टू फाइंड करंट आई पासिंग थ्रू टू ओम रजिस्टर राइट एंड our agenda is to minimize the circuit and that we will minimize by using network manipulation rules and source transformation now when i see this circuit first time then first thing that i can see is this two voltage battery is connected in series with this resistor so what i'll do is i'll transform this voltage source into current source and based on that i'll be having resistor in parallel with current source so we will be having current source in parallel with current source so i can remove one current source out of two as per parallel connection right so first i'll be converting this voltage source into current source let me show you first so in current source it will be in parallel with resistor resistor value will be 1 ohm only direction of current source that is from minus to plus direction so it will be there in upward direction and i is equals to v by r so 2 divided by 1 so that is 2 ampere so i need to replace this series combination of resistor and battery in terms of resistor in parallel with current source let me connect that over here in this circuit so now you see i have connected this equivalent connection of battery in series with resistor into current source in parallel with resistor right now here you can see this two current source that is there in parallel to each other so equivalent current source will be algebraic sum of this two current source now you see both of this current source are having upward direction so resultant direction will be upward and algebraic sum is 2 plus 1 so that is 3 ampere so i need to replace this two current source by 3 ampere current source so now you can observe this two parallel connection of current source is equals to 3 ampere current source that i have done right now for further simplification here you see this three resistors that is connected in delta form right now if i connect that in terms of star form then further simplification will be very easy right so here what i'll be doing is i'll be converting this into star form right so this is delta form now star form that will be something like this you see i'm just showing you here now when you have this in terms of star form how to find this equivalent resistance right so this resistance that will be multiplication of this two divided by algebraic sum of all three so this will be 1 into 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus 1 so that is 0.33 this resistance that is multiplication of this two divided by algebraic sum of all these three so that is 1 into 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus 1 so that is 0.33 again and this resistor that is multiplication of this two divided by algebraic sum of all three so that is 1 into 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus 1 so that is 0.33 so this is how i can convert this resistors in to star connection you can see let me reconnect this circuit again so now you can observe i have replaced this delta connection into this star connection along with the values you can see right now here for further simplification see this current source that is connected across this two resistors so here current distribution rule that we can apply so i can say this current source that is connected across this resistor 
as well as this current source is connected across this resistor. Let me show you this rule first. So you see, if current source is there in parallel with this connection, then I can apply this current source individually to those elements, right? So let me connect this circuit here for further simplification. Now you see what I have done is I have connected this current source across this two and value is 3 ampere. So now I am connecting that across both of this with value 3 ampere with upward direction. Right. Now we can clearly observe this current source in parallel with this resistor. So now I can apply source transformation again and that will make battery connected in series with resistor. So you see now voltage source is there in series with resistor in replacement of current source in parallel with resistor. So resistor value that will stay as it is 0.33 and voltage source that will be having direction as per this arrow and that will be here minus plus and the value will be V is equals to IR so that is 3 into 0.33 so that is one voltage. So let me replace this over here as well as over here. So now you can observe I have replaced this combination with voltage source as per this explanation. Right. Now for further simplification of this circuit I can say this resistor is there in series with 1 ohm and this resistor that is also there in series with this 1 ohm resistor. So now you can observe, see what I have done is I have just connected only one resistor instead of this two series connection. So that is just al algebraic sum of 1 and 0 0.33. So that is 1.33 and direction of voltage that is minus plus as per this and with this voltage source also direction is plus minus you see and resistance is as per 0 0.33 in series with 1 ohm so that is 1.33 right now for further simplification what I'll be doing is I'll be converting this voltage source into current source so here you see minus plus direction is there so current source direction that will be from minus to plus and here plus minus direction is there with this voltage source so current direction will be there from minus to plus in this direction and transformation will be as per now you see resistance will be as it is but current direction that is from minus to plus and value of current i that is v by r so 1 divided by 1.33 and that is 0.75 so let me connect that in this circuit. Now you see with this current source direction from minus to plus, it will be there in this direction, value will be 0.75 only. And with this current source direction will be from minus to plus, so it will be there in this direction and value will be 0.75 ampere. So this is how we can have further circuit and now in this circuit you see we have these two current source with same magnitude and opposite direction and it is connected in parallel to each other right so i can say both of this are there in opposite direction so that will cancel each other as per algebraic sum right and once it cancels each other you will be having very simple circuit in this 1.33 in parallel with 1.33 is there so that is 1.33 into 1.33 divided by 1.33 plus 1.33 so that has to be 0 0.67 let me connect that again so now you can observe i have eliminated these two current source 
and the resultant of 1.33 in parallel of 1.33 that is 0 0.67 ohm. Now I have this simple circuit in which I can apply loop and I can have current passing through this loop. So if you apply KVL here, then first we need to see voltage source. So here you see two voltage source that is happening from minus to plus direction. So I can say that is plus two voltage and that is equals to voltage drop across all the resistance. So you can see two ohm resistance into I plus 0 0.67 into I plus 0 0.33 into i so i can say 2 is equals to 2 plus 0 0.67 plus 0 0.33 that is 3i and i is equals to 2 by 3 that is 0 0.67 ampere so i can say current passing through that resistor is 0 0.67 ampere so you see how i have resolved this circuit how i have minimized the circuit by using network manipulation rules right so you will have to do practice along with me.